Hey, what is going on YouTube? Jim here. Wanted to give a quick video on my setup for the um, Shit Hell 2 DAC, which I am using exclusively on my PlayStation 5. Um, I want to point out that my setup is obviously going to be different than yours, but hopefully you take some lessons learned from this because uh, I ran into quite a bit of issues with cables and how long the cable runs could be, and I figured out a good combination. I will, sp I will post links to all of those cables that I bought in the description below. So what you see today actually works, and if it helps your setup, then I saved you the trouble of buying and returning many, many cables from Amazon. So um, let's go ahead and let me run through the wires, and then I will wrap up. Quick video today, so here we go. All right, so the problem was that my PlayStation, which is over here, and, and uh, my DAC, which is over here, obviously runs through the center of the room. If you see my other videos on my Astro Mix Amp, you know that I did a very similar setup where I actually ran the cables along the perimeter of the wall because I don't want to have cables running through the floor if possible. I want to keep it nice and clean. Although I do have an area rug here, I suspect many of you will be like me where your console will be away from where you sit, you know, in an entertainment center of some sort like on mine here. And the 10 foot cable that is provided may not be long enough for your needs. So um, the way that it works by standard default, no cables or anything like that, is you have to use the USB cable in the front, which is the USB-A cable here. It is a different cable. I'm sorry, this is a different port than the two USB-A ports in the back. So if you're using the standard 10-foot cable that they provide, it has to plug into the front of your PlayStation 5 in this USB-A slot. It will not work on the ones in the back unless, as I found out, you get a powered USB hub, and I'll get to that in just a minute. So. What I did was on the back of my PlayStation, which you're just gonna assume that it's there, I did plug in a 16 foot Belkin extension into the back of my PlayStation in the USB-A uh, slot. Now, this is gonna do two things incorrect by default. Number one, um, 16 foot will not work. It's too long of a run without a powered USB. And number two, as I just mentioned, uh, it will not work in the back because you also need a powered USB. So <laughs> I had to buy one. Um, if you use the 10-foot cable, I just want to say this again to be crystal clear. If you get the 10-foot cable that is provided to you from shit when you buy it, it's a USB-A to USB-C, it will not work in the back. It has to be in the front, okay? So, runs in the back. Now, I ran it through my entertainment center, the old rat's nest, and there the cable pops out. I run it the whole length of the wall, did my best to tuck it against the wall, over to product number two. So, Belkin cable... As I mentioned, uh, you can see the actually end right here. The Belkin cable actually ends with a female connector. So if you buy the this USB powered hub that I have from Belkin, um, it comes with obviously a cable that plugs into the wall, which is over there. It also gives you a small kind of a jumper cable, which connects from there. As you can see, I have it plugging into the 16 foot cable. Now, when I do that, this does work and the signal does work up to here. Then I took the 10 foot, 10 foot provided cable from the um, DAC and I ran that along the length of the couch. And for me, it pops up back here and that is where my power cable connects in and that's where that other cable plugs in as well. And that works, that solution works. As you can see, probably here, um, here the PlayStation hum. Uh, and I'll show you, if we come over to the console, uh, I'm sorry, let me go to sound here. Hard to navigate with one hand. Uh, holding the phone here. There you can see the USB headset, parentheses, shit hell too, does appear as my microphone input device. And for my output audio, you can also see that it is set as the USB headset, parentheses, shit hell too. Note that because it is USB, you can, if you so to elect, you can enable 3D audio, which is a really, really nice feature. So keep that in mind as well. So in terms of connections, obviously, I'm using a, probably a different pair of headphones that you guys have. I'm using a pair of Sennheisers. Um, and in terms of my microphone, I am using a, a lavalier microphone, which I clip onto my shirt actually up here because people say the gain's too much, uh, which is fine. Uh, and then I am using the provided, uh, let me try to get it all in one shot here for you guys. I am using the provided uh, cable there, which does, and in this type of connection, if you use the TRRS, which is the... Uh, the ring ring whatever ring ring sleeve tip ring ring sleeve trrs connection by default which is what my lavalier microphone has uh it does not work let me see if i could 
unplug that without making you guys too dizzy. This connection will not work by default into the shit hell two. That's why they give you an adapter which converts it to TRS, TR, uh, which is just one ring. There you can see. So a little difference there. Now, uh, as I mentioned, um, just wrapping up here, um, if you are going to run a longer cable from your PlayStation to your DAC, it has to be a USB 2.0 cable. And depending on the length, more often than not, you're going to need a USB powered hub like the Belkin one I have. There are other brands. I mean, I have everything Belkin, not that it matters. It just worked out that way. Um, I will post links to all of those in the description box below. So hopefully this all helps you or gives you some idea. The idea for me, as I said, was to make sure I didn't have any cables running along the floor. I wanted everything tucked so I had the roomway accessible. If you don't mind and you just want to plug it straight in from your DAC to your PlayStation 5, obviously they give you that 10-foot cable to do that. But if you're like me and you want a little cleaner solution, you're going to have to spend a little bit more to get there. But uh, USB 3.0 will not work. Um, and anything over, I'd say about 10 feet, 12 feet, it seems like the USB type two just doesn't have the power, which is why you're going to need that Belkin USB powered hub or powered hub of your choice. Hope you guys found this video informative. If there are any other questions on how I set it up or any advice I can give you on your setup, please leave a comment below. Let me know how I can help you guys out. This thing is awesome. It is absolutely worth the hassle. It is absolutely worth the pain to buy all these extra connectors and plug it in. There is no signal, signal degradation, and it sounds just as fabulous as when I had a single USB cable plugged in, the one provided from shit, uh, versus my solution, which now actually has three cables plugged in, uh, all the way to reach around a 20, I think I'm at a 20, probably like a 28 foot run, and it works just fine. I tested it, I watched some YouTube videos, I played some games, zero cutout, zero hum, zero buzzes, zero anything. Again, thank you guys for watching. Take care of yourselves, and until next time, I will see you guys on the other side.